Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matador and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Maori Superman YT, Foxy, and even Denti. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the working MAC in your single player. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you do download this and now make sure that you do download lemon ui and i will leave this inside my description below so let's get started the first thing that you must do is go to your grand theft auto v game hover over it right click and open file location now as you can see i do have a scripts folder make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase open up your scripts folder and then let's get started now the first thing that you must do is open up your lemon ui extract folder then go to your shvd in 2 folder select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder now this is optional i always do this Open up your SHVD in 3 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. And now open up this folder, then open up that folder and now select all the files and folder except for the text files. And I'll drag it inside your scripts folder. And now exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your MOC extract folder. Now open up this folder and open up that one. And now select all the files except for the text files. And drag it inside your scripts folder. Replace files. And now exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back and as you can see I'm in the game. Now if your game does freeze like this and don't worry about it K because it's just only loading all of the features of the mod. So once you're in the game, go to your phone go to contacts go right down to the bottom and now go to enable interiors now the first thing that you must do when you get into the interiors go to uh, gun running interiors and now just enable that and that and then that's okay and now you can modify your MSC if you want to but I'm just going to skip all that and now go right down to the bottom to misc options and now really important, this is crucial, make sure that you do enable your load MP maps and enable blips as well. Now this is optional, go to random color blips and change that to true as well. Remember that's optional, not important. And now go to refresh interiors. Now once you have finished with that, all you got to do is go on your keyboard and press insert. Now your game will freeze for only a few seconds, don't worry. 
Now once your game is back, all you got to do next now is go to the MAC. Now the MAC is usually at the beach, so let's go and have a look. And yeah, there it is. So I will see you guys once I get there. And now we are here and here's the MAC and we are going to go and check it out. Now before we do anything, now what you can do is that you can come to the bonnet and now uh, you can open up the the hood by pressing E and press E again to close it. You can turn on the engine and leave it on or turn it off if you want to. Now over here at the back you can come over here and now you'll see like a hover over there and then now press Q to enter on your keyboard and then you can go in the vehicle if you want to and over here you can press E and now you can manage your stored vehicles if you want to and over here you can press E and now you can manage your weapons or change your weapons if you want to and over here you can come over here to the to your vehicle and jump in your vehicle and now you can press G on your keyboard and now you can modify your vehicle or if you want you can press E to exit the uh, MAC and now you can drive your vehicle you can just drive back again and now press Q to enter and now what you can do is press F to exit the vehicle now if you want to go straight to the driver's seat of the MOC you can come over here and press E and now you'll be in the driver's seat now you can drive the MOC as well as always so this mod does work 100% and I hope you guys do enjoy it. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. Now that mod is especially for people who want to do role plays or etc. Now this mod is required the updated game version. So if you're using a crack version, then this mod will not work, okay? So buy the game to avoid the stress. So with that all said, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if you think that this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.